Well, we're officially starting to take out my old motor. And I'm with Max, he's gonna be helping me do it all. So I guess first step is draining the radiator fluid out. Get rid of all the fluids, we don't want that going everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna bop the floor so we don't die. It's a rather large box. shirtless on video and then magic mic will come out oh yeah why would they be stuck just from getting so hot i, I just i don't know that, that crank bolt has got me scared oh no nah, these are these are easy okay that was see i told you i know where the issues are on this car <laughs> oh, yeah. is there any other surprises i should be worried about uh you want to break those loose over there and not knock your camera off Oh my how did you? <laughs> there we go. All you gotta do is pop them loose. I got I got an easier way to do that. I got faith in you. God, just that second one was tough. It's like every other one. One's easy, one's hard. Do you undo them more? I just broke them loose. And then I'm going to pull the spark plugs out first so I don't break them with the header. Okay. I mean, we're not going to reuse them. I'd just rather not screw John over and break them off the head. Come on. Of course, the one in the way back was the tightest. I gave you the hardest side. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Say what? <this. laughs> There's like a billet water pump that's like a thousand dollars, and I'm so tempted, but Mazir? so much money. Is it Mazir? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are pretty dope. Those are so sick. For how ugly this thing is, that's like the whole motor. That blocks everything. Videoing you. Oh, thank you. We're taking out the radiator completely or leaving it in? Nah, I'm pulling it out. I don't want to jam the motor into it somehow. If it was automatic, I really wouldn't be worried about it, but manual stuff to come further forward. Or yeah. I can accidentally do it. You'd be like, oh, now I have to get a radiator. See? Darn. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> we'll just like jam it. Bye, radiator. Oh, it looks like fun and clean. Okay, now I'm gonna go up a little bit more. Okay, okay, good job. It's exciting. It's gonna be so pretty. Mm. Yeah, I really like those valve covers. Yeah, that color. Those yeah. valve covers, they're like more of like a chromey. Nice. Looks really nice. 
I'm here for. <laughs> right, you can come over now. to the AC compressor bracket. Pretty dirty. Clean her up, make her all nice. Now I'm gonna clean the motor mounts. This is what they look like. It looks like someone's polished them before because they definitely don't look stock. There's like a lot of marks all over them, so I don't know if the previous owner did something, but I'm gonna get them cleaned off. And then once we clean them off of this, we'll just spray them with some brake cleaner as well. So it's clean and ready to go on the car. versus the before is all nasty. Might paint them, I'm not sure. Very, very pretty. up and then run the cleaner through the coolant and the oil lines just to get it all cleaned out. Yay, goodbye old motor mounts. Hello, Z28 motor mounts. See if they fit. What size is this? They're both the same um, part number. Okay. They're two lefts. <laughs> They're <down. laughs> two lefts. So Max just installed the new motor mounts and I decided to go with the Z28 motor mounts just because they're slightly more stiffer than the SS mounts 
and as we pulled them out, I noticed that one was cracking a bit here anyways. Probably just a little bit dry rotted from being in Arizona. Not really an issue at all, but the Z28 mounts are a little bit softer than like the polyurethane and solid motor mounts because the solid motor mounts will kind of create a lot of vibrations and it just makes the ride quality nearly not as good. So hopefully these Z28 mounts do a lot better than my previous ones. Um, I definitely wanted to upgrade those while the motor was out. You will put like pressure like down on the valve covers. I'm going to be trying to torque this and then you can try to torque this way so more pressure on that side. 74 foot pounds. Top. Oh, it looks so ugly now. What are we gonna do? God, this guy that I polished though, whew, that looks good. God, this one looks so good. Hardly remember how this goes on. How does this go on? Close? Less close? Ah, oh, so close. Like that? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it looks fire. This is gonna go like this. That. Do you have the clip tool for the radiator hose? You hold it together to make it work. I lost the clip, just hold that in. See how that one's cupped? It goes on the. Yeah, like that. And we just put pressure on it. You're good. Try to match the wear marks on the hose back with the clamp. Put it here, right? Yeah, like try to line the clamp up exactly how it was on there before with these wear marks. Because sometimes if you don't, it'll cause a coolant leak just because the hose is like already formed. I'm getting it. I got faith in you. <laughs> I had faith in you. Go you mean it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta growl at it. It works that. <laughs> I usually just use pliers for these. I mean, that I do most of the time. You got this. Ready? Yeah, I got faith in you. Putting this intake on? Just throw it. Really? <laughs> no, I do not do <laughs> 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 That'd be kind of funny. Hey, comply. The plastic dowels has got to line up. Oop. There we go. Probably should put the solder body on before I put the intake on, but we're going to see how well it fits. Oh, God. Aw, that nice, pretty throttle body. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Seen this I have no idea what this looks like. I'm gonna have to live with it. Oh, and it's pink. Oh, yeah, that either. looks good. Yeah, show the camera. Show the camera. Oh, you're gonna. Get Hi. <laughs> I was like over here, like <laughs> this is. <laughs> how pretty it is. Who's the bird? Who's so the bird? pretty. Oh, it's a bird on it. Yeah, it's Nick Woods. Oh. Yeah, it's really pretty. 
Wow, that fit a lot better than I thought it was going to. Take five. These bolts just go connect the intake manifold into the block. Or these go through the heads, huh? Through the head, yeah. Oh, that's rough. What? Oh, yikes. Okay, so we're gonna stick the bolts back out. Okay, yeah, and then just put that in it. And, and we're gonna slide it back. Threads in right away, or am I in the wrong hole? I'm in the wrong hole. <laughs> what matters is the finished product. Yeah. We always figure it out. See, that's the that's the camera max we've been needing. Yeah, no, we don't have a camera max. <laughs> I've always been so embarrassed to pop my hood at car meets, <laughs> <laughs> but now. Hey guys, it's shiny. That's how you make people, car people mad. Like, just get all this engine work done and just say it looks pretty and the guys freak out. You bring yourself entertainment, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta swap the bullies because this is a different design of the intake and it doesn't stick out as far. Just four bolts holding it onto the intake manifold? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we're not using stock injectors, sorry. We're doing the Jeep's works. Uh, module that comes all all that stuff injectors comes Monday. Can't really do this yet. So we can't really put fuel rails on. I mean we can just be like, wow, those look super cool, but then they gotta come no back. No injectors. <laughs> For the spark plugs, we use this little like rubber tool, and it just goes right on the spark plug, and then you can twist it in. Pretty simple. Nice car. What? How much you want for your motor? Give me 20 bucks. Really? 20 bucks? <laughs> really? You got a bolt? Alright, it's a race go. Okay, now we'll go up top and put them on. Bolt float. Bolt float. Yeah. Set. I want it to set without the bolts in it. I was just trying to see what it's going to look like. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Ah. <laughs> I want to take a photo of it. Just photoshop and figure out.